be ready 5 seconds we are concerned in this case only with the fourth category of appeals it is nobody's case that the third category of appeals is relevant simply because section 50 of the arbitration and conciliation act does not provide for an appeal in a case such as the present it is for this reason that we are concerned only with the fourth category of appeals with the contention of learned counsel for the appellant being that section 50 of the arbitration and conciliation act does not and cannot inhibit the right of appeal under clause 10 of the letters patent learned counsel for the appellant contended that an appeal under the letters patent would be maintainable despite a statutory bar in that case the concerned statute was the specific relief 1963 there is no dispute about the principles relating to the maintainability of an appeal under the letters patent but the history and the provisions of the specific relief are completely different from the history and provisions of the arbitration act 1940 the contention of learned counsel was that sections 39 and 37 reproduced above incorporate the words and from no others which are conspicuously missing in section 50 and this omission is deliberate he submitted that the intention was to leave a window open for an appeal under section 50 of the arbitration and conciliation act which window did not exist under the arbitration act 1940 and is kept closed under section 39 of the arbitration and conciliation act given the position in law laid down in mohindra supply the use of the words really makes no difference except to emphasize that an appeal may be filed only against limited orders the fact of the matter is that an appeal under the letters patent is not available against all orders passed under the arbitration and conciliation act whether or not the words in section 50 of the arbitration and conciliation act on a reading of section 50 of the arbitration and conciliation act there is no doubt that all further appeals are barred except those mentioned therein clearly therefore even if it is assumed that the correctness of the view expressed in mohindra supply is in doubt and that clause 37 of the letters patent is inapplicable even then the letters patent can be overridden by statute this is all the more so in the case of the delhi high court which was established by the dhc act and not by the letters patent section 50 of the arbitration and conciliation act bars all appeals under that statute except those permitted to this extent it limits the operation of the letters patent as applicable to the delhi high court and thereby bars appeals such as the present therefore it is clear that an appeal under the letters patent would not be competent in a case such as the present we hold that whichever way the question is looked at an appeal under clause 10 of the letters patent as applicable to the delhi high court is not maintainable against an order passed under section 50 of the arbitration and conciliation act except the orders specified therein since the impugned order in this appeal does not fall in any of the categories specified in section 50 of the arbitration and conciliation act 
the appeal is dismissed as not maintainable.